the trickiest question ever how many minutes are there in 2h hours and 6m minutes so here don't fall for the trap 2h hours doesn't mean it is 2 hours and 6m doesn't mean it's 6 minutes it's 2h h and m are the variables so now you need to calculate how many minutes are there so 2h in an hour there are 60 minutes so multiply by 6 I honestly don't believe a single one of you is going to fall for this trap that this video says. 60. 2H multiplied by 60 gives you 120H. And so 6M is already in minutes. So add up 120H plus 6M minutes. That's your option B. I'm going to be honest to you. If that's the trickiest question on the SAT, every single one of you is going to score 1600. But most importantly, if that's the hardest question and you can't do it, then you're going to be in big trouble. <laughs> this is not the hardest type of question on the SAT. In fact, this is actually one of the easiest ones. Now let's go over an actual hard SAT math problem like the one listed above. The easiest way to do this problem is to make everything the same base. So we know that we're solving for N. My gut is telling me, let's keep everything in terms terms of P, which means that we need to somehow relate this second equation and substitute it into the first one. Here's a very easy way to do that. So all we need to do is just rewrite it in exponential form. That's just P to the power of nine over 10 is equal to T to the power of three over two. We're almost there. We just want to get T by itself. So all we need to do is raise everything to the reciprocal is two over three. We need to do that on both sides. This one gets turned into just regular T and this one gets turned into P to the power of two times three, which is six over 10. All we need to do is take this T now and just plug it in to the first equation using substitution. Now that everything is in terms of P, the base is the same. We can just cross it out and pretend that it doesn't even exist. So now six over 10 is equal to 2.5 N minus 0.5 is just one half. So to solve for N, all you need to do is move that one half over. So that's six over 10. So that's going to be 11 over 10 is equal to 2.5 N. Now, 2.5 is the same thing as 5 over 2. So I'm going to go ahead and draw this all the way over here. 11 over 10 is equal to 5 over 2 times N. All you need to do is just multiply 2 over 5 on both sides to get rid of the fraction. So what that's going to do is the right side is just going to be N, and the left side is going to be 11 over 25 is your final answer. Summer is your secret weapon for SAT domination, and most students waste it. But my proven study system turns those eight weeks into a 1500 plus score, and I break down the exact strategy in one of my YouTube videos. Just comment the word summer, and I'll send it over to you for free.